Hey everyone, Kamala here. Welcome to Unwrapped, presented by Murphy'sMagic.com, y'all. You know it. Whatever. Hey guys, hope your Saturday is going well. I'm Kamala, as you probably know that by now. Uh, thank you for joining us. I'm excited to talk to you guys this week about two effects, and they are Waterworks by Paul Harris Presents and You Day, and also Phoenix Ashes by David Blanco and Hazer Kadam. So with that being said, let's go take a look at a live performance of Phoenix Ashes. Uh, the cards, all different. This is a card trick, right? Uh, hold out a finger. It's a good choice of fingers. Okay, okay. Okay, point to one. That one? Okay. We're gonna close it up. I want you to take a look at it. It's okay if I see it actually, it really doesn't matter. It's not one of those tricks. So you got the four clubs. Hold that deck for me if you don't mind. Come on over, you missed it. There was a tiger a second ago, it was incredible. Uh, not anymore. I only do it once. Uh, check it out. So she picked this card. We're gonna do something interesting. We're gonna rip it in half, right? And can you hold that half? We're gonna do some kind of weird with this half. Uh, check this out. It's very exciting. Now let it burn. I'm gonna come down to the sidewalk here. Try to get it to burn all the way. That's how forest fires are started. Yeah. <laughs> Check this out though. So you picked the card. It was the four clubs, that was your choice. We tore it in half. We're gonna blow this out. Watch, we're gonna... Try to collect some of the ash here. Whew, it's warm, okay. like that. Or clubs. Very nice. You guys not impressed with this? This is a miracle. I have no idea how it happened. <laughs> okay, I think she's just a quiet reactor. All right. <laughs> High fives all around. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. All right, you guys have a good night. Okay, so that was a live performance of Phoenix Ashes. Uh, the effect is basically a updated version of the classic effect, Ashes on Arm. If you're not familiar with that effect, it's a great, great effect that's uh, really easy to perform and do, where you can um, you can do whatever you would like. You can have any reveal, like you could have someone uh, pick a playing card, burn that playing card, and then the word, the playing card, like eight and a heart would appear on your arm. Well, what they've done is made a kind of an updated version uh, where you can actually make half a playing card appear in the ash on your arm and the, the other half matches that uh, ash half. So it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a, it's kind of weird, it's kind of like a ashes on arm meets like card to location sort of type of effect. Um, the You get the DVD and you also get uh, basically everything you're going to need. The only thing you need to supply is something that you already have at your house. It is something that I had heard about, but I didn't know it would work as well as it did. Uh, and it was very clever. This The stuff that you have in your house will work with ashes on arm and uh, it's very easy to do. They also, so, so they supply you, um, Everything you need, but one thing that, like I said, you already have in your house. Uh, the teaching is very well done on the DVD. I love the classic effect, Ashes on Arm, and this is just a really nice updated version. I think it adds a little bit that it's actually half a playing card. And also you have this really pretty moment of you tearing a card in half, and while it's still, still attached, burning it, letting it burn, take that ash, and immediately show that that other half, now that's on your arm, matches exactly, which is a very nice moment. It's kind of an impossible, uh, effect, which is very, very nice. Uh, my only one downfall that I never realized, because I guess I don't burn cards a lot, it takes a little bit to burn a card. It takes a few moments to burn a card. So you you build it up, you build up this effect, or the reason I, my mistake, what I did, was I built up this effect, you know, I'm like, no, you picked a card, it's impossible, let's burn it. Wait for it to burn, wait for it to burn, wait for it to burn, and then it ends up being on the arm. So I didn't know how long it took because I'm normally used to burning paper, not playing cards. Uh, so uh, that's my one you know, bit moment that you just got to realize how long it takes to play, do a card. The one, one downfall of this trick is that you're burning an object, so you have to um, 
just make sure you can do this in an, uh, an environment that you can burn a card. So it's not a perfect trick because you can't do it everywhere, but it's a perfect trick in that scenario. Uh, what is nice though is that they give you a, how can I describe this? A, uh, a container to carry this special stuff with you, so you can you can set it up within one second. You just need to do one little thing, and then you're done. So you can do this at moment's notice. You can have it in your bag, or you know whatever you carry your magic in, and ready to go. So, well, with that being said, that's all I really got to say about Phoenix Ashes. Let's go take a look at a live performance of Waterworks. I'm gonna show you a trick about science. Who doesn't love science? Am I right? All right. Cool. <laughs> okay. So, uh, bottle of water. You can go ahead and open it for me. This water, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, leave the cap off for a second. But I just want you to see that uh, it pours out just like normal water, right? There's nothing there blocking it or anything like okay. this. Okay. Hold on to the cap because we're going to get to that in a second. But I want to show you something that involves science. Like I said, if I put my hand flat, the water doesn't pour out. Not impressive because my hand's there, right? But if I keep going, still it gets a little more impressive because if I slip, it would fall out. But if I take my hand away, that's the impressive part. Now here comes the even kind of a weird part. If I take like an ink pen, right? Watch. Okay. Now if we take the cap, we actually lock the ink pen inside the bottle. You can actually take a look at it. You can unscrew it and pour out the water, make sure it's just normal water, right? You can pour it out, like we get the pin out. <laughs> Good? Yeah. It's fun, right? Yeah. Science is weird, am I right? Yeah. Right, high fives. Alright, you guys have a good day, right? <laughs> Right, that was a live performance of Waterworks by Paul Harris Presents and you Day. Waterworks is an updated version of the classic effect, which I believe was called the anti-gravity bottle cap, I believe that was the original name. Uh, the idea was that you could take a glass Coke bottle, uh, put your hand on the mouth, turn it upside down, and the water would suspend, and then you could take a toothpick and put it into the mouth of the bottle and it would float up, uh, and then you could uh, let the water fall out. Uh, now, what Uday has done is, first of all, he's done a few things. Uh, he's, one, uh, taken a classic effect and uh, updated it to a modern version that will work with a 20-ounce bottle, which is also, right away, is already great, okay? Uh, second of all, he's made a way better gimmick that's way more fooling and very easy to load and unload off of a bottle. But the best thing he's done is that he's made it, he's worked around the science principles and he's made it where you don't have to drop a little itty bitty toothpick in it. You can actually take a full size ink pen or a colored pencil or whatever and put that in it and have that float, which is so much better. It adds so much to the effect. It makes it way more fooling. So Uday has really taken this and totally made it better on, on, on so many levels, which is really great. Now this trick is really great because it's perfect for casual situations, but you could also do a very strong presentation with it as well. It's really up to you, but you could totally do this in a parlor situation and really have a strong, meaningful presentation behind it and make it very strong. One downfall for this trick, which is also a good and a bad thing, is Uday uh, was very smart and figured out a way to have the gimmick uh, get loaded onto the bottle in a very nonchalant way and loaded off on the bottle very nonchalant way, uh, utilizing the cap as the, the, the medium to do that. The problem with that is that there's really, this, at certain points during the routine, there's no reason for you to put the cap on and then immediately take it back off. Because for example, I have to put the cap on to get the gimmick off, but then I want to take that cap immediately off so then they can look at it, right? Uh, so if you watch my performance and if you own Waterworks, you're, you'll probably understand what I was doing is I, uh, my friend Bazaar and I, we were jamming, you know, beforehand because he helps me film these uh, and we figured out that like I can take the bottle off, the cap off, I can pour water, show it and I just hand that to them. I never put the cap back on at that point but it's still loaded with a gimmick, um, which if you watch it, you understand what I'm doing. Uh, so then I can do the suspension, I put the pin in, and then the reasoning that Bro Gilbert talks about on the DVD, it does make sense, like you can actually seal the pin inside the bottle. So now you put the cap on, and then if they would like to look at it, you can take the cap off. So that first one is the one that never made sense to me, which was why am I taking the cap off immediately, putting it back on, and then taking it back off again, you know? So that, that part didn't make sense to me, but you can get around that if you if you want. Uh, the DVD is very well produced. It's taught by Broke Gilbert. You get everything you need. It even comes with a bonus effect, which I think is so good. Uh, it's a little blue ball. You can take the cap off, do the suspension. Uh, well, no, you say you take the cap off, drop the blue ball into the 
the, the bottle, you do the suspension, now the ball lowers, like sinks down to the, through the bottle and pops right out of the opening of the mouth of the bottle, which is so clever because it proves that there's nothing there blocking it because the ball just falls right out of the bottle, which is so good. Uh, and that's a really clever addition uh, by EDA as well. Uh, so with that being said, that's Waterworks. I don't really have anything bad to say about it. I really do like it. They give you everything right out of the box to perform it. They even give you a soda bottle. You don't need it because you could go buy your own, but they were nice enough to supply that. So I really do enjoy uh, Waterworks. All right guys, so that was Unwrapped. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was informative and helps you make your magical purchases. Now, if you've watched Unwrapped before, you know every single week we give away last week's prizes and how you do that is you uh, comment below in the last week's video telling me what you liked and what you didn't like about both of those effects and subscribe to this channel at Murphy's Magic. And and this week's winner of last week's prizes, which was Duh, uh, Duh Ortiz and Water and Infallible, which is, the winner is Scotty P87. Scotty P87, congratulations, man. Go to facebook.com slash Murphy's Magic Supplies. Shoot me a message. We will get your prizes. Congrats again. If you would like to win this week's prizes, do the exact same thing. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And I do check. It is a rule, so make sure you do it. And comment below in this video. Tell me what you liked and what you didn't like about both of these effects. And then next week, we'll pick a random winner to win both these effects so uh, good luck congratulations if you win premature congratulations for you and i will see you guys next week